62% of Americans who graduate high school, if you're, if you're not in America, it doesn't matter, dude. You got to pay attention here. 62% of people that graduate high school enroll into college. Now, of those 62% of people, the ones that graduate college are left with $27,000 in student loans. Making here in America, our budget, our debt from student loans alone is $1.7 trillion. So you graduate that job, you're left with $27,000 worth of debt, right off for it. And then you get a salary job that averages for a college graduate at $58,000 a year with a 3.8% raise annually. And then after that, you have to compensate inflation. Inflation got announced over the past two years at 7%, which is a complete lie. We printed literally over half the US monetary supply in the past four years. It's crazy. And here's the thing. If right now you're in college, you're thinking about it, you're on the fence, stay with me. If your goal is to make the most money you can, college probably isn't the best bet for you. Now, if you want to be a doctor, you're passionate about, you know, science, biology, kinesiology, all this stuff. If you want to do that, great. This isn't for you. But if you're looking to get financial freedom, to get location independence, and that freedom over your time, you need to get an opportunity where a few things occur. First and foremost, you do not want your income to be capped, plain and simple. And here's the scary part too, is going to college for four years is the main problem. Paying $27,000 for an education it is what it is, right? When I was in school, I paid $62,000 for three years of schooling. But the main thing I wish, if I could go back in time, it wouldn't be the $62,000 in debt that bothered me the most it'd be getting those three years of my life back. Because there are opportunities that we're going to cover here in a sec where you can literally not only make more than a college graduate, but you can level up and scale that. You could literally double your income in a year. You could double your income in six months. You could triple your income in less than a calendar year. And I know this because I've done it. I literally almost, what, like 8 x my income? going from dropping out of college and landing in an opportunity where it's scalable, where I have control. Here's the problem, is when you graduate school or you're just in the nine to five, we'll, we'll, group, them, we'll group them both together and just stay with me here. It's all capped. It all has stipulations on it. You do not control how much you make. You do not control the raise you get and you don't even have total job security. Plain and simple, your boss could terminate you whenever he feels like it. If the market's tight, we enter a recession, you're expendable. And then that's the, that's the sad truth. And not a lot of people want to talk about that. That actually is what makes people gravitate towards the nine to five, is the fact that they feel like they have job security, but that's not the case. In 2008, my mom lost her job and she thought she had job security. I've seen it time and time again with not only family, but friends. So if we go back to that original thought of you just wanting to make money, scale, get freedom, not retire at 65 with a measly retirement, that's just not going to be enough. I mean, look at how much the price of everything's going up right now. You see this. You see it in gas. You see that stuff at the grocery store, in schooling, books, the whole nine, dude. Imagine what it's going to be like when you're 65. That million dollar 401k, I know it sounds like a lot when I say a million dollars. It's not especially if you live to 85, 90 years old, it's not enough. And I felt the same exact way. I, I knew that there was more. I knew there was another route that people weren't telling me that was hidden, that was covered up. And you're exactly right if you have that hunch. See, there's an opportunity right now in the fact that you have no skill or no experience, you can literally get paid to learn. You can scale. You can literally make a million dollars a year within five years of this opportunity. I've seen people do it in less than two years. And here's the premise. The world runs on sales. That is the bottom line. Businesses and stores, they would not stay in business if they could not get their product off the shelves. Sales is everything, dude. 
Your ability to get a job in an interview is sales. You are selling them on why they need to hire you. Getting a raise, you are selling them on why you are worth more. Getting the girl, you are selling the girl on why she should be in a relationship with you, why she should go on a date with you. Sales is everything, and you probably have a bad taste in your mouth about it. People have told you it's risky, there's no guarantees, all that, and that's true. But there is no guarantees in life except one, you're gonna die, right? (laughs) Plain and simple. That is the name of the game. Now, the reason why sales is so important is the same reason why it's one of the best opportunities that you could ever get into. And let's go deeper on that. When you get in sales, you have a few things immediately right off the rip that are in your, in your corner. It gives you an advantage, right? You don't have a boss. And I know that sounds good, but that might be your worst enemy. You might suck at being your own boss. I've seen that too. People just suck at being their own boss and it might not be for you, right? The second thing is you have unlimited income potential. If you learn this skill, if you master it, you get good at it, you put time into it, you invest in education. Me and my business partner right here, we've literally spent over $35,000 in the past 12 months investing in our education. So this isn't me saying that education's bad, but you need practical information, dude plain and simple. You need information that's valuable to the workplace, that's valuable to the economy. And like I was saying, the ability to sell a product is literally what makes a business live or die. So if you have a guy, let's take you right now, right? Let's just say hypothetically, you were great at sales. Sell the shit out of stuff, right? How valuable are you to a business to move their product and service and bring $200,000 a month in revenue for them. That's extremely valuable and they're going to give you a cut of that pie. When I started to learn this, I read a book called Rich Dad Poor Dad. Everything changed, my whole paradigm. You go from a spot where you think $58,000 is a lot of money and then you go into an opportunity like high ticket sales and you see people making $1.2 million in their first calendar year. It's insane, dude. It's literally nuts. And if you're anything like me, I didn't have skills. I didn't have knowledge. I wasn't a God-given salesman. I wasn't a smart kid like I was saying earlier. The reason why I wanted to make this video is to tell you that you're capable. You can learn these skills. There's a lot of great content on the internet. There's courses out there. All this stuff that you can use to master this skill. It's the most important skill in the world, guys. It's the most important. There will always be stuff and there will always be a need for people to sell their stuff. That's the bottom line. So going forward, the last video, I, um, I went over the two basics as far as sales go. Appointment setting, closing. I left a little bit of knowledge there. If you're still looking to learn more, which I think you should, I believe in the philosophy, especially in business, the more you learn, the more you earn. It's just the skill and the vehicle that you're in are the most important. So if you're looking to learn a little bit bit more in the past video, obviously I broke that down. But further than that, if you're looking to master the art of sales, just shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'll put it in the description and just DM me and say sales. So as always, stay focused. Stay on your commitments, and most importantly, just take action. Just take a step. It doesn't have to be a huge one, but just get the bus moving. And I'll see you in the next one.